We're just weeks away from the start of in-person school in the city, and kids here on Staten Island have a lot of questions. What kind of changes will there be for students in September? I think there's, there aren't going to be any serious side effects. City Schools Chancellor Misha Ross Porter and Deputy Health Commissioner Dr. Danny Stevens holding a round table at New Dorp High School. The goal is to address concerns and speak directly to students, though questions from the media were denied. As the Delta variant remains a big threat coming into the school year, masks must be on, social distancing will be in place, and there will be two air purifiers in every classroom, among other safety measures. That the most important thing we can do for all of you is to make sure that we get you back in schools and get you back in school safely. Even though that we've seen the rise of the Delta variant and we've seen that it's more transmissible, the vaccines and the Pfizer vaccine particularly does provide protection against the Delta variant and all the other variants that we have seen. This school is also a summer rising vaccination site, part of the DOE's Vax to School campaign. Chancellor Porter is making a plea to all eligible students to get vaccinated as we learn of nearly 94,000 reported new pediatric COVID cases across the country. Why did you decide to get vaccinated today? Honestly, I've wanted to get it for a while. I just want to do everything I can to be a part of like the solution instead of the problem. According to the DOE's latest numbers, about 51% of kids in the city ages 12 to 17 are now vaccinated. That's about 263,000 kids. While the DOE says it is making progress, it hopes to see that number rise significantly in the weeks to come. In the New Dorp section of Staten Island, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.